1.6, surface area and volume of a sphere. Here we've got our two formulas that we're going to be using. Surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. Volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Let's do some questions. Diameter of a softball is approximately 4 inches. Find the surface area of a softball to the nearest square inch. So we're looking for surface area, and we know that the diameter is about 4 inches. Let's write down the formula. Our question gives us the diameter. We need to use the radius to solve this question. So let's divide that by 2 and get our radius. Let's put our information into our formula. Let's do some calculating. When I multiply those together, I get 50.24 square inches. My question asks for the to the nearest square inch. Let's round it off. The surface area of that softball is 50 square inches. There's the answer to my first question. Next question. The moon approximates a sphere with a diameter of 2,160 miles. What is the approximate volume of the moon? We're looking for the volume. And we know the diameter is 2,160 miles. Let's write down our formula. Once again, our formula calls for the radius, so let's convert that diameter into a radius. Our radius is 1,080 miles. Remember, when we're talking about miles, don't use an M, that stands for meters. Miles is MI. Let's put our numbers into the formula. I changed that 4 thirds to multiplying by 4 and dividing by 3. It's easier to work out that way. Let's start doing our calculations. The volume of the moon is approximately 5,273,995,000 240 cubic miles. That's a big number. Next question. Let's look at a hemisphere with a radius of 8 centimeters. This is a bit of a two for one question because the first part asks us to find the surface area and the second part asks us to find the volume. We're going to do it like two separate questions. Let's start with the surface area. What is the surface area of the hemisphere to the nearest tenth of a centimeter? Hemisphere is half of a sphere. So to find the surface area, I'm going to take half of the surface area of the sphere, and that's going to give us this part out here. And then I'm going to need to find the surface area of that cut face, that base, this part right here. Let's start with the surface area of the sphere. Write the formula down. Next, let's put what we know in. And then let's calculate it. Now, since we are dealing with a hemisphere, I'm going to have to take that surface area of a sphere and divide it by 2. And that leaves me with 401.9 square centimeters. Now, let's do that round cut plane on the top. And that is just a circle. Put in what we know. And let's calculate that. Surface area of that cup plane is 201 square centimeters. Let's put it all together and find our total surface area. So from the half sphere part, we've got 401.9 square centimeters. And from the cup plane, we've got 201 square centimeters. That leaves us with a total of 602.9 square centimeters. And there is the surface area of our hemisphere. Moving forward, let's look at the volume of that hemisphere. This one's a little simpler. We don't have to do two parts. All we do is find the volume of a sphere and divide it by two. Let's start with our formula. Let's put in the parts that we know. And let's calculate that out.
So the volume of a full sphere is 2,143.6 cubic centimeters. But we're not dealing with a full sphere. We're dealing with a hemisphere. So I'm going to take that number, divide it by 2, and there's the volume of my hemisphere. So the volume of that hemisphere is 1,071.8 cubic centimeters.